What's up guys and welcome to tutorial 23. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about dynamic arrays. Basically what I mean by that is an array that can be changed during runtime. Now to um, declare a dynamic array in the, the amount of elements you want to do in your variable type it's going to be negative one. I think I typed, yeah, I typed that right. And this basically says this is a dynamic array. Now what's the point in a dynamic array? Well basically it's just an array that you can change during runtime. Now, to change a dynamic array during runtime, and what I mean by change is adding a new amount of elements to it. So, if we wanted it to be now with five elements, we're going to type um, redim the variable name, and then we're going to type four. So, basically, now we're saying create just the erase all the things all the values it has now and create and now give it five elements since you add one to four and that'll be five because we're counting zero now you're saying well that's pretty useless because all we're doing is deleting the rest of our data that we had before that well there's actually a new way to keep the data or part of it depends on how big you make your array and you'll understand what I mean by that read them preserve this is the keyword used to keep um, part of array and keep its dimensions from getting cleared. Now, let's see, let's type 5. Now, let's say that this string name had, um, it was populated with five elements, all equal to strings, and they're just a bunch of words. Well, whenever we do this, it'll basically recreate that, it'll, it'll give it five elements, or six elements and keep all the values that this one had except for the ones that are let's say if we had um, well actually this right here will keep all the values that this one up here had but let's say that we were going from nine or ten elements ten elements to five basically all it would preserve is elements z uh, zero through six it wouldn't preserve seven through ten and the reason for that is because when you're creating a new ray, it just can't create invisible rays. That would be kind of stupid. But anyways, that's what dynamic rays are useful useful for. They can be very useful if you know how to use them. That is all for this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and watch these videos in high definition. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.